Yeah, it's oh. moving out, causing a little backlog in all the cars. That's Mommy. so cool. Mommy, die! Mommy? Yeah? Can somebody call Gugga? Oh, oh I, I think it gets a little far to see, but we'll show her a picture when we get home. Hey everyone, today is Saturday and um, a little bit sad because this is our second last day here. Sunday is our last day and then we're leaving Monday to actually go back home. But we have everyone in the van. Olivia's back there, Nancy Tay Tay. And we decided that we couldn't leave Alberta without seeing Banff and like the mountains and stuff one more time. So we're here today. Um, we got stuck in so much traffic. It's already 1.30 and we're still driving to our first stop, which is Johnson Canyon. And hopefully we can get out, walk around and see like the waterfalls and stuff. But Bye. there was like a little accident on the way and it took Bye. forever. At least it wasn't the entire way down, but it's still like, we went like 10 kilometers and it took almost an hour for that. So we're almost there though, but this is a cool place because we're actually somewhere different. Like if you can look up there, see like all the mountains and stuff like that. And it goes way up and I think we're actually um, driving into the mountain. Um, so it feels like Earth, at least. But um, we're excited for today. We're hoping to we can go on a gondola as well. But we already came across a little bit of rain um, on the drive here. So hopefully it holds off. It said on the radio that it might rain in the afternoon. So we can hold off, hopefully. What are you doing? Are you guys excited to see mountains again? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Emily, no, buckle back up, please. Um, so yeah, we're almost there. We'll get out and see and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the first two vlogs from Banff and uh, we'll enjoy this one. We're going to see a little bit more different places and hopefully go up the gondola too to see some more. So we're excited. And they've been also fighting the entire drive. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to get out soon, okay? Okay, just leave her alone, please. See, they don't like it when someone does it to them, but they do it to the other person and the other person gets upset. It's like, you know what it's like when they annoy you, so don't do it back, but they just don't listen. <laughs> Guys, just be nice. We're almost there, okay? You want to get out and walk? I'm not going to walk. Well, you guys go, the triplets, Jackson, Olivia, and Levi go in the wagon. The new wagon. Right? You want to go in the new wagon? No, yeah. I want to get yeah. Oh my gosh. So we're driving, and look what's on the road. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know what those are. Like kind of some kind of they're, sheep. They're um. But like, look, you actually see it with the. Oh my god. You actually see like with their horns and everything. That is so awesome. Emily, get back in your chair, please. <laughs> horns and everything. Can you go get Olivia out so she can come see? They're just moving oh. out, causing a little backlog in all the cars. That's Mommy. so cool. Mommy, die! Mommy? Yeah? Can somebody call Gugga? Oh, oh I, I think it gets a little far to see, but we'll show her a picture when we get home. Mommy! Yeah? Okay. Got it. Um. You got the mosquito bite. Thanks, little man. Aww. <laughs> mommy, I'm coming to go. This person on the bike, like, literally doesn't care. Yeah, I'll do a Snapchat then for Gaga. So they made it to Johnson Canyon. And of course, if you can see that, I don't know if you can even tell, but it's pouring. It started raining, and we're literally right under a ginormous uh, storm cloud with, like, big thunder and everything. So we're just under. This little bridge here, keeping dry while it pours, and then hopefully it'll stop in a couple minutes, and then we can go. We really need to go to the bathroom. Even Emily does too, so it doesn't help that we're standing beside running water when we have to go. Well, hopefully, like everywhere else around us is clear, except right now it's like pouring. But everyone's in the wagon. They got their umbrella. And Emily has hers. So just gonna wait out for a few mo moments. It's got all the way here, and we just to learn that I don't think it's possible to do the hike to the falls with the wagon. Right, Olivia? So there's very steep and narrow paths along the way. 
and if it's uphill too, it's already like I'm already sweating just pulling it here. At least we gotta go to the bathroom, but they all want to get. So it's kind of sad that we didn't get to see the waterfall, but there's a nice little lookout here. So it's gonna get out, take a quick look, and then see. Olivia, don't go past there, please. We're going to get in trouble. This is called Storm Mountain. Ooh, I didn't know there was like the whole river. Oh, that's the Bow River. Emily, what do you think of the view? Olivia, you like the view? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can yes, you can. There's a train track. Yeah, you see the water and train tracks? to the gondola. This one is actually super nice. The view is even even better. So this is at the Sunshine Village and this is actually a hotel but I believe from reading online that you actually have to take the gondola up to get to the hotel and you drop off your luggage and they bring it up to your room for you. So we see but I think uh, the gondola ride should be fun so I'm excited. Well it seems we're just having the worst luck today because the gondola is now closed. They're only operating just to get everyone down. I know, but that's just to get everyone down the mountain. So they're over there, but the thing is too, once you go up to the gondola, there's a chairlift. And I don't think we'd be able to go up the chairlift because you need one adult per one child in order to go on the chairlift. So that's kind of like a bummer. I almost am tempted to come back tomorrow. But actually I just remembered, she did say that if you take the gondola up, you can walk 900 meters, like a 900 meter hike um, to the top point where you see like the valley and like the views and everything. So. Would you come back tomorrow morning? I don't know. Probably not. Well, even if we didn't get to go on the shuttle, which Levi is very upset about. You wanted to go on the gondola, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we can come back tomorrow morning, okay? At least uh, the view is nice. There's gondola. It goes pretty fast, too. So. Hey everyone, so as I'm editing this vlog, I realized that I forgot to end it, so that's what I'm doing now. Um, this vlog kind of like gives me a little bit of a lesson to learn um, or take away from because sometimes no matter how much you plan things, how excited for you are for something, it doesn't always work out as uh, it did that day. Uh, we were planning to go to Banff again for the second time because we thought we can't leave Alberta without seeing the mountains again. So everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Um, from the beginning we left an hour late, we forgot the cooler for all the food, I had to go buy some snacks, I forgot my phone so it took an extra hour to pick that up, Jessica luckily she was driving out to meet us because um, she had to go get her hair. Um, then there was an accident which took an extra hour onto our drive there. Then the rain was just, as you saw, everything just, it didn't work out and then we walked and then we realized that we can't actually walk the trail with the wagon um, because it was too hard and the last thing I wanted to do was have Emily and Triplets walk all that way. Um, that would just been a nightmare probably, um, especially because the path is so narrow. And then after the gondola, we got all the way there just to find out it's closed. So it was really sad. We still had a fun day and we got to see the ram and it was really exciting for Emily and Triplets to get out of their seats to see that. But that was pretty much the highlight of our day. Part of me still thinks it was a little bit of a waste of time because we just drove so much that day. Like, and I was the only one driving and it was just a lot. And after everything didn't work out, then we had to drive two hours back home. I got I missed the turn too, so it took a bit longer to get home. But 
uh, yeah, it's just kind of like a lesson to learn and realize that, you know, sometimes things always don't work out, but just have to look for the positives of it. And, you know, at least we got to see the mountains again and we saw the animal that I've never seen um, in person before or, or like um, in the wild, pretty much. So that is exciting. But I also wanted to touch on, because this is current day, so as I'm editing this vlog, so as I was recording the vlog, um, our channel was growing, and then now, I can't believe, like, Dan and I are so amazed and shocked and happy and surprised, like, every word you can think of, like, to see our um, channel grow so much, and we just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's also been with us from the very beginning, but then also to all of the um, new subscribers and new members of our family who joined us and want to follow along. It means so much to us, and we're so excited. Um, you always hope when you start your YouTube channel that you have a growth and stuff like that, but for it to actually happen, it's crazy, and it happens so fast too, and um, it's kind of like a little bit motivating because I was slacking on the vlogs. For, hi. I was slacking on the vlogs a little bit, um, and then since the summer. Mommy, can we go to the bush? Yeah. Mommy, next time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we were just really Mommy, excited to. Okay, this is Olivia's new kiss. You have to pinch her cheeks. There. Mommy, do that again. Yeah. Mwah. Okay, one second. Um, so yeah, we were super excited to see the growth and. Mommy, I have yeah. They really wanted to go to the pool. Um, but yeah, so I forget what I was saying. But, okay, one second, one second. Um, so we were really excited, so happy, and uh, we just want to say thank you to everyone who uh, has um, watched us from either the beginning or now. It just means so much to us. And we were also really want to know, I'm always curious to, as to how you found our channel. So if it's from. Uh oh, is it from the video of me changing Emily and the triplets on the bed? Uh, sorry, it's really loud now. Or is it just from a recommendation? Like, just if in the comments, let us know below. Uh, before everything, one second. Okay, I'll get it back in one second, okay? Um, but before they get any more crazy, I just want to say a big thank you. Um, it's so awesome, and we just cannot believe it. It's so shocked, and every day Dan and I look online, like, oh my gosh, we grew again. So um, we're close to getting our goal of 100K. That would be so awesome. Um, hopefully within like the next two weeks, if we can continue this growth, because we earn about um, a thousand new subscribers a day, which is so awesome. And uh, yeah, oh, that's what I was saying. So it's kind of motivating because I've really found a good schedule, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday for our vlogs. And I really think it works. And the only thing that downfall is that you're not really up to date. Uh oh, one second. So as we post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, some weeks I may have more vlogs than others. Um, eventually we'll be able to catch up and then so it's like real time. But now our vlogs are just a little bit delayed. So we're going to be ending, we're on our way home from Florida right now, whereas you're seeing the vlogs still from Alberta. But um, as I just have so many things that we want to record and stuff like that, so that's why. Um, but I really think that this way we're always guaranteed to have videos out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, rather than every week. So, but um, once second again. But yeah, before they get too crazy, I just want to send a big shout out to say thank you to everyone um, who has joined our family and is following along. It means so much to us. Really excited. We have some fun vlogs and videos, ideas that we want to do. And also, um, Dan and I really want to do a Q&A because I'm sure lots of you may not know who we are um, or too much about us. So if there's any kind of questions you want to know about Emily Triplets, Dan and I, our relationship, um, any kind of things that you can think of, uh, let us know down in the comments below and we will do a Q&A when we get back and uh, we can answer some so um, you want to say hi and also throw this bubble in the beach yeah that's a, and then another vlog coming up but we have the Florida Pier today and actually kind of threw this bubble in the water so be on the lookout for that vlog um, so thank you guys so much and we will see you in the next vlog and don't forget to like share and subscribe bye mm.